Hello guys, this is Rotos. Today I'm to talk about Uta Edge Babylon Pro, size number 2. Uh, it's been a week since I uh, showed you guys the unboxing video of the tools and uh, I've been trying to uh, testing on different letters and trying to uh, put together ideas and what's good and what's bad and obviously it's a very nice edger uh, from the design standpoint and also the functionality on the material everything is fine really um, there is not much of a downside to it I think it's a very very really good it's really good that um, Chinese company have really stepped up their game very much and um, compared to price of its uh, tool it's really amazing how they um, stepped up their game really uh, since the uh, Fang Etcher this is the, uh, the really the really nice Etcher for the price and also the material and everything it's just it's really amazing tool I'll put the link in the description or in the, in the comment box where you can purchase through uh, the affiliate Amazon links will be um, uh, nice for me also as well so uh, I'll put it there so uh, let's go into the details now so this is Uta Leather Edge Cruiser so Uta Leather has been out there for a while now um, I think they are making very very um, uh, good tools with a reasonable price and recently they have come up with the Edge Babylon uh, they had an Edge Babylon before but then they were more like this type of um, um, Japanese style Edge Babylon but manufactured in China so I wasn't really into it until I saw this one um, what drew really, really intention, uh, attention um, to me was that the, the handle, the material, and the, how the edge bevela, um, the looked, looked like, and also the, the edge of the material. So, uh, this is ebony, it's a black ebony, and this is the brass ferrule, and this is the DC-53 steel. I've been talking about DC-53 steel a lot in my different videos, but then if you missed it, if I talk briefly, this is a better version of D2, so it's a improved D2. So DC-53 has a really, really good um, wear resistance. Uh, it's very hard still, and it's uh, really strong to deformation. So if your edge has a very sharp edge, that means it will retain its sharpness very, very long time. Yeah? Um, it's a really nice steel, it's from Japan. DC-53 is some of the best steel, I think it's for the knife material or also uh, anything that cuts into material. Uh, D2 is really good, DC-53 is even better. Yeah, These guys use DC-53 and ebony. Now um, the ebony, uh, there are a lot of different kinds of ebony. I'm not sure which kind of ebony this is, just uh, it, it looks like really hard black wood. So it is a um, type of ebony. Uh, but ebony is quite rare. Uh, the import exportation is quite tricky nowadays but then they use the ebony so it's a it's a very nice um, nice choice now compared to these two guys um, which I already did a review on these guys have the type of ash uh, this one is painted black so I don't know what kind of wood they're using but these guys use the ash and also they paint it with the brown and uh, yeah so this uh, is relatively very um, simple wood compared to this one then they are okay they are they're usable as well they are not bad yeah but then uh, for the price um, if I try to arrange it with the price um, this one is the cheapest this is leather craft tools um, special original material and this is a cushion now um, and th the price goes higher uh, this tool costs about twice as this one and this one is slightly less expensive than this one so um, so the pricing range is like this. Uh, what's the biggest difference in between these three are the back side. So if you look at it, how, how they look like. Yeah, uh, Uta leather has a very long groove um, on the back of the edge. Yeah, and the Leathercraft original has a flat edge, which is very easy to take care of. But then also it leaves a flat flat side of the um, corner it, it will not have a rounded effect very much if you go larger size for size double zero it's okay for Kyoshinel high speed steel edge bevel it does also have a very um, smooth um, back side but then it's very short for the Uta um, Leathercraft uh, Pro edge bevel it has a very long long groove yeah? so after using, if you sharpen it certain times, you will still have a really, um, really nice groove edge. If you see the, um, 
the side view profile, you will have a very interesting distincting curve. So it's just not just straight and bent. It goes the outwards and then it goes to the towards to the bending area. So other things are just smooth transition from straight to smooth. Also this one is also straight to smooth, but then Uta has a two curves in it which makes it a little bit more ergonomic but then the curve itself doesn't do that much of function it's still um, if you if they did it like this also it could be a still nice choice but they, they did go for extra extra steps yeah so this is what it looks like in profile so what's really important for edge bevel is just to um, cutting ability and I've been testing on different ladders and uh, my conclusion is that this edge has been sharpened very very well um, to be honest these two edge bevelers they are really nice really uh, it didn't still change my opinion but to in order to have a very good sharpness in order to use it very properly these needs to be sharpened properly as well um, because of the price I think they don't come razor razor sharp but they can be sharpened razor sharp that's the that's the different things so if you know how to take care of your edge bevel you need to buy this and you need to sharpen it. Then it's a, it has a very high performance. Especially this um, high-speed steel edge bevelers, it, it gets really, really sharp and it stays sharp very well. But then uh, you need to sharpen it very well too. Now for this one, Uta edge bevelers, it comes razor sharp and also it stays sharp very well. So uh, you don't need to do any, any of the edge maintenance when you bought it. You're just ready to go, just cut it. Yeah? Let me show you how well it cuts. So I will, I, will, I just put together a um, coupons for the testing material. So this will be edge number two, um, Cushionel and the uh, leather craft. Sorry, to show you here. Yeah. So this will be a direct comparison um, how well they cut and what kind of a finish they will leave and what kind of size they will um, leave. But then first of all, I would like to just show you. Um, what the, how the edge cuts for the Utah. Yeah. So for every edge beveler, it doesn't matter which company you're you're trying to buy, you need to get used to it. You need to find your own angle because angle is what's important. Yeah? So it cuts very well. Yeah? This thing the edge the leather is just stuck here. It doesn't matter. We just uh, just need to go continuously and the, the leather will pop out automatically no worries yeah like this the back side also for the back side you need a sharp edge if your your edge bevel doesn't work well on your back side of your leather that means your edge bevel is a little dull the front side this green side cuts well even though your edge bevel is not that sharp but the back side you need to have a sharp edge or bevel to in order to have a very clean finish like this otherwise you will have just a fuzzy fuzzy um, fuzzy ending at the end where it doesn't cut at all so if you're having problem beveling the back side of the leather you need to sharpen your edge bevel and I'll put a link in the, dis in the back of the video where you can um, see how I sharpen my edge bevel it's very easy okay so inner corners are very well cut as well so um, it's it's really it's really easy to cut, um, I mean, do the corner. So if you see, I'll show you how it looks like. So this is how I cut the inner section. Yeah, it's really well cut. Yeah, and also the the piece that I did just did also. Yeah, it's just clean, smooth finish. The reason why I chose size 2 is that it's a good size for edge beveler. I've been a fan of um, beveling edge, very microscopic um, edge beveling, so smaller the better. But then I found out that it's not a way to go. Um, I think if you are doing uh, with vegetable leather a lot, size 1 or 2 is a good option. Don't go with a too small edge beveler. Okay? So this is the um, cutting result. Okay? Mm -hmm. so, Let's compare with other edge bevelers. So let's put the uh, other side. So this is what it looks like from the original. So you will compare this side will be left untreated. I will just edge bevel this side, okay?
Hmm, it's not sharp, okay. Oops. Okay, it's uh, quite embarrassing because I was talking about this, how um, sharp your edge should be, but then it's okay. So, kill Chanel. Yeah, smooth like that. So, kill Chanel size one. Uh, we'll see what it cuts like. No, I will just try to uh, make a new edge now for the fair comparison. Uh, it just needs to be handled properly so that <laughs> it will be a fair competition for 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 every edge beveler. So I'll just make a new edge here. Yeah. And what's good about the Leathercraft tool edge beveler is that you don't need any of the tool zig or any of the rod because it has a flat bottom. You can just sharpen it like this. And you're good to go. No? See? It cuts much better. It cuts, yep. Yeah. Now for the Uta. Oh yeah, yeah, it's smooth. Yeah, so Uta the size number two, Leathercraft tool original double double zero, double zero, Kyoshi now size one. Yeah, so like this. Show you guys the camera. So this is what it looks like. It has almost no difference to the eyes. Obviously, Leathercraft Double Zero is the smallest. If you, the left side is the edge bevel part, and the other side is the fresh cut part. Mm -hmm. It looks like this. And Kyoshinel, size one. Bevel part. Fresh part. Mm -hmm. It looks like this. And Uta number two. Mm -hmm. Fresh part. Fresh bevel part. Okay. I can see that um, Kyoshinel one and Uta two is similar, very similar. Mm -hmm. And. Um, Leathercraft Double Zero is uh, one step smaller. Yeah, so uh, number two doesn't mean it's too big. Yeah, you can go for number one. It's already um, so it's very small, and there is a size zero. I'm not sure if it's really usable, but then uh, size one and uh, size two is a very good choice. Yeah, so I chose size two for that because then you it will be cut like this. So I'm happy with my choice. Size one and two will be enough. If you're doing working with a really fine thin leather, go for Uta size one. But if you're working with a slightly thick leather, around one millimeter, go for size two. Now, if you're working with a really thick leather for belt, size three is a good option. So, if you're trying to just get a set, size one through three is a good option. Yeah. And if you want to have a little fun, size zero is also a good choice. Yeah. So that's it. So. Uh, Really, there are a lot of good companies out there making new tools and a lot of good good tools are coming out in the Leathercraft scene, which is really nice because Leathercraft has not been so popular ever since like this. It's really, uh, it's, a, it's a really good trend um, all over the world. People are making new tools um, uh, and uh, I'm happy, happy that Chinese guys are really st stepping up their games very well to match the quality of what the world needs and uh, amazing what the price they give for this type of tool uh, it's just a, it's an incredibly incredibly um, good performance compared to price yeah so uh, I had a plan to make edge bevelers for myself but then looking looking at the edge bevelers that coming out from China this good 
it's really not necessary to make a um, new edge beveler for myself. I was trying to come up with a really nice steel and trying to make my own uh, so that it performs well and sharpens well and everything but then I see this and it's a <laughs> it's a no-brainer uh, I shouldn't do it, such a thing <laughs> it's a really um, it's already they did a tremendously good job uh, making edge bevelers uh, so yeah so I don't have to make one uh, it's really nice so I'll, I'll keep using it I'll keep testing it I will do the wrong term review and uh, this will be pop in my videos time to time now yeah thanks for watching guys as always I'll see you guys next video bye bye